hundreds of traders. At the popular Ladipos Pair Pass market in Lagos today, suspended their business as the APC governorship candidate in the November 16th governorship election in Anambra State took his campaign to the traders. Senator Chris Ngigi and his campaign team made a stop at the market where he addressed the traders, telling what he plans for Anambra State if he's elected governor. Before addressing the crowd, he got this endorsement from his fellow party men who are based in Lagos. Our people in Lagos State, who are also your people, because many of them are your immediate constituents, that they are solidly behind you in this quest to return and bring the much needed change to Anambra State. I want to reassure you of the support of His Excellency Governor Babatunde Raji Fashola, his entire government, and of course the entire party machinery that they are all behind you in this quest so that the good work that our people see that is being done in Lagos State they will see the same work being done in Anambra State. I have no reasons why other people should go and sit down for him to be governor. And I'm going to just give you a few of them. This man is a trained medical doctor for almost 40 years standing. This man was in the Federal Civil Service for almost 35 years and retired. This man has been a governor. He's currently a senator. It is this man that opened our eyes for a number of people to know there is, that there is more in governance than paying salaries. This man was able to use the small resources we have in that state to transform that state. As I speak to you, I want to be proved wrong. I don't think there is, apart from Lagos, there is no other state in Nigeria that have more trouble roads than Anambra State. He initiated it. So come November 16th, APC is in power, Chris Ngige is in power. After those ringing endorsements, Senator Ngige mounted a makeshift platform to address the crowd, speaking mainly in the Igbo language. Ogembi and the governor of Anambra State, there were no roads in the whole of the southeast. Immediately I came, I told my fellow governors, they were on the second term. Jimaro Kenaman, Yenugu, Ajiku Demwa, Imo. I told them that we must do what we call regional cooperation to open up our place. Anum rose from Oka. Where where my is an infitter. She has an infitter. My Uga from Uga to Amesi. From Amesi to Muchu. From Muchu to Mona. From Uga. The medical doctor time politician is staging a comeback in the race, having lost the last the incumbent governor, Peter B. This time, he asked the people to come out in mass on election day to give him their votes, making promises to transform the state. I want you to ship your goods from China, from Taiwan, direct into Anambra State. And this airport will be built in Omambala area. The good thing about this airport is 
that I will build it in six months. <laughs> and people will land inside Anambra by December 2014. I will rebuild the Onishame market. Amen. We shall have motor spare parts pass there. Amen. A lot of you will now have a corona down there. If you have some products here, you put them out on the shelf. Umu boy letter, my work and I let her give. I put one with us card. I put one with us card. I put one with us card. This one, there is no big man about it. There is no small about man about it. We are all equal. November 16, one man. One man, one woman. Those qualified to vote in the November election among the crowd cannot do so from their base in Lagos. But the APC candidate told them buses were made available to convey them to Anambra to exercise their franchise. Chidimachi Kezie, TV360, Lagos.